Hi, everybody. Welcome to HCA East Florida's Ether Street Fat Go, presented by the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau and presented live by History Miami Museum. Uh, we're here at this spectacular property. It's the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. It's been completely redone. A one and a half billion dollar property uh, that was done and now it's an iconic part of South Florida. You know it probably is the Guitar Hotel. That's just part of what we have here. 13 and a half acres of waterways. It, it, you can come to this facility and spend weeks eating at different restaurants, swimming in a different and pool. And still not touch the whole property. And yeah. the brand new uh, added to casino is terrific as well. They've got a spa that's unbelievable. So it's a great place, not only if you're around the world, but as a staycation too. Uh, we're here inside of uh, Council Oak Steaks and Seafood with Chef Robert Sibirowski. Chef, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for Thanks for coming. Appreciate yeah. it. Now tell us about the concept behind this restaurant. So Council Oak uh, is one of the original restaurants that was original to the original property. Right. And uh, the property, the existing uh, Hard Rock Hotel, uh, has been here for 14 years. Right. And that restaurant was iconic to that specific property. So with fabulous facilities that we have now, we needed to make sure that we elevated what we were doing in terms of Council Oak, just because it's iconic. Everybody that travels to the resort and casino, they know Council Oak. And for us, I look around and look at the, the, the beauty in this restaurant and the natural light that comes in. And it's just fascinating. And at nighttime, once it does become darker, you can just see the outside of the guitar lit up, which is, oh, which is wow. cool in itself, let yeah. alone that it, you're doing it sitting in this such an iconic restaurant from right. right. Chef Robert is the director of culinary. And by the way, this property is a AAA <laughs> four uh, diamond rated property uh, that has just gotten rave reviews across across the country and across the world in so many ways. You age your own steak here, your own beef here. We do. We age it for 28 days. Uh, we age it in our aging room. It's also our butcher room. Uh, that aging room is, uh, it's a wonderful thing to have, but more importantly, you can have all the best resources, but if you're not using it properly or correctly, it right. uh, can tend to affect what you're doing. In this case, one big part of it is the Himalayan sea salt wall that we have in there. Uh, as we were talking that's before. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's and you have the sea salt candles on the table. We do, so that ties into that. That, that, that idea uh, of marrying the two together. And yeah. what does that do to the beef? What it does is draws water out. Essentially, that's what right. the salt will do in an environment like that. Right, so you get a more uh, flavorful piece of steak. Basically. We will, yes. You You've got a great event coming up, by the way, and I know you're going to be a part of it. Uh, it's uh, the uh, uh, culinary kickoff, and you've got some great chefs coming to town, too. We have some wonderful chefs, world-class, world right. celebrity-driven chefs coming right. to the property. Now, it's January 30th? It is it's Thursday, January 30th. Right. And so it's right before the Super Bowl. And what time does it start? And I mean, how can people participate? And well, the tickets are still available. That's they the are. first thing I want to get out there. And how much are they? We're not sure, but we'll find out. Yes, we'll we will find out. Yes, but what? Uh, it is from, I believe it starts at 6 o'clock. Right. Okay. And you're going to get some, Michael Mina is going to be here. Michael Mina, Charlie Palmer, Michael Votaggio, wow. Jason Atherton is coming from London. And some of the great chefs that you have here on and the property, the too. Chefs that we have here, uh, right. Chef Alex from Kuros, our Japanese restaurant, and Chef uh, Tito, aka Tito, from uh, Abiaka, which is our one of the restaurants, new yes. restaurants we have. Right. Here. And restaurant. you're doing all like small bites, right? To try? So we're doing two different things within the format. We're going to have the past canapes that you see here and then we're going to have action stations. And the action stations are less than a center of the plate steak per se, uh, but it's enough food that if you eat all of it, that you'll leave Right, very full. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we will have all the information about how you can get tickets, how you can enjoy this wonderful event here on the 30th of January here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We'll get that before you before the end of the show. Chef, you know, one of the great things, this has become a new, well, maybe not a new thing, but something that's really unusual. And that's putting a small kind of an appetizer thing on a spoon. Do you see more and more of this? Yeah. It's just a good vehicle. And it, yeah. when you're walking around at a reception, and you, it's easier for you to eat. You don't have to use a, a, right. a knife and a fork. You can just right. take it off the fork of the spoon. Right. It's easy to it's, clean up and, and pat, very much yeah. So, yeah. And let's hope they just keep the, keep the forks. What is a fork? Yeah. <laughs> Chef, what is this? Tell me what This you is got. a Macari potato. So what it is is we cook potatoes and uh, we basically boil them in their jackets or in their skin and we don't let it uh, burst then we peel the potatoes when they're really hot and we mix them with butter and eggs and then you spread it out on a cookie sheet 
with butter and eggs. And you mix the, the potato puree. Oh, and if butter you can't taste the butter in that, Brenda, you may be dead. I do. <laughs> it's really amazing. And Gosh, the, what a great, great appetizer that is. That is a wonderful like thingy in your mouth. It's just you know, it must be the eggs. You don't know that there are eggs mm -hmm. that's in there, but it makes it more. And, and can I tell you? Or something? I would come to the mm -hmm. event on the 30th just to try that dish, and I that'll know. be part of it too, right? That is one of the past candidates, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. And uh, we've got some other great things over here, too. Yeah. Um, now, this is a really neat concept. This is, a, again, a little bit of a plate. It looks like a, a, kind of a Japanese concept. So it's a uh, Jonah crab or uh, main crab salad, and we're serving it with Florida grapefruit because we're in the middle of citrus season. Yeah. So right. I have little pieces of grapefruit, and then I also made a grapefruit gel or pudding, per se, avocado puree, some little horseradish and then toasted laugen pretzel, which is in English pretzels. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Jeff, is, is this, I mean, when you create these kinds of dishes, mm -hmm. uh, where do you get inspiration from? I mean, you, right. you travel around the world. We know you're, you know, you're looking for talent all over the world to be able to recruit and come into the, you know, the folks that are very good at this and be able to bring them into the fold. Do you find other folks from other nations that you say, we need to find a way to incorporate into what we do? It's a very long answer, and I'll give you the shortest version okay. of it. As a chef, you, there's three rules in cooking, right? And the first and most important rule is you're always cooking for your guests first. A lot of chefs, they think, well, I'm going to cook for myself. Right. right. And if you cook for yourself, generally your business won't be open that long. <laughs> right. Right. So you have to understand your demographics and where you are. Second rule is you cook for the love of the craft. And third rule is you cook for yourself. And for me, I've been fortunate enough to travel the globe. I lived in... Rosa, Spain, for six months and did a season at El Bali. I lived in Paris oh, and worked for Alain Ducasse. Oh. I lived in Monte Carlo yeah. and I worked for Alain Ducasse. I lived in Osaka, Japan for two years. So I'm very fortunate that I got to see all that and I still right. travel a lot currently. So everywhere you go, you find inspiration in what you're doing. But for me, it's about taking techniques and flavors that naturally pair together. I don't want to over confuse the food. I think food should talk. And it should talk for we itself. hear that well, over and over again from great me. chefs. Really we is. really do. Chef, we got a little bit of time left. Do you mind if we try that third one? Yeah. It's going to be so what wonderful. This is that. this is a Nigerian water prawn. It's a very large prawn, oh, and I made him into little. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, the sticking. Yeah. Here, but here, I'm gonna do this one. There we go. Malba oh, toast. Malba toast go. is just a pressed bread. Yeah. yeah. It's served with an Asian pear puree. It was my fault. We sat here for crustacean a little aioli. Few minutes. Well, it looks we absolutely go. gorgeous. Ooh. Again, it's the culinary kickoff. It's January the 30th here at the Seminole Hard Rock and Cus uh, Co Hotel and Casino. Is it going to be at this property? It is going to be at uh, Dare, which oh, is okay. the nightclub right. uh, mm -hmm. slash day club on the property, right. which is new to the expansion as well. Yeah, we've heard some wonderful things about that. We and gonna we're visit, going there. We're, we're going to visit that later in the show. And we'll give you all the information about how you can get the tickets and be able to take part in this. I mean, these are chefs that if you go to one of their mm -hmm. restaurants once in a lifetime, it's an experience. You're going to be able to taste the food for many of them at this event. Again, it's the uh, culinary kickoff. Uh, January the 30th here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel uh, and Casino. Uh, and while you're here, get a hotel room while you're here too, because mm -hmm. it's worth it. And it. It's just gorgeous. This place is spectacular. It's spectacular. Chef, did you watch this thing come together while you were here? I did, and I'll never forget the first day driving up to see it. And you saw it come out of the ground, and you saw the concrete structure, and then the glass began to get put on it. And over time, you're like, wow, it's, it's truly a landmark when you think about it. Taking a guitar and turning it into a building, I mean, just the design behind it. And, and you having the vision of the construction before and after right. everywhere you go. Um, well, you're going to wow. be able to now uh, come out here and enjoy about a dozen restaurants or so. And uh, there's some spectacular ones. And, and Council Oaks is, is got a reputation that's wonderful. To see that It is gorgeous. Room. If you love steak and seafood, all kinds of seafood too? Yes, sir. Yeah. So come out here and enjoy it. Uh, and there's and an open kitchen as well where you can watch them work their magic. Do their and things. Again, it's the upcoming culinary kickoff, uh, which is going to be on the 30th of January out here at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. And um, I think you'll really enjoy it. There's going to be, these are just a, a small portion of the wonderful f uh, yeah. gourmet foods that you're going to be able to try. I can't wait to see what Michael Mina makes. I think I need yeah. to come out here to this event as well. Yeah. Come out and see them. We'll be back with more of Eat the Shrink Pack Gold right after this.